that's with people now that are, are it's imminent that they will be opening at some yes. stage. What if they're, let's say in New Zealand, they're opening now. What's, yeah. what's some of the steps they should be doing now? So what I'd say now is, um, and this is this, um, I actually said it the other day to a group of uh, sports people. Uh, I was asked to talk to the sport community, not necessarily recreation. And I said, uh, cleaning is the new black. Um, so uh, for people to get the reference, it's, it's right now being seen to be clean and cleaning and making people clean and wash their hands or use the hand gel or whatever your protocol is, is going to be so important. So be overt with your cleaning and be overt with your requirements for people to do their own cleaning. And so the things we talk about is, um, you know, the, the deep clean or the deep sanitize where you're doing a sort of, we're going to do everything every night and we're going to, we're going to do it. Tell people you're doing that. But then the spot clean, the, we're going to wipe down that, that door handle like every half an hour. And, you know, the, the, if, if you've got gym instructors or if you're in a small club and the receptionist kind of is the gym, gym floor person, they should be doing it and doing it publicly and dare I say, doing it with a chemical that smells. Why? Because people, oh, if I go into a changing room and it smells of orange, right now that's good. Normally we might say, you don't want to sm smell your cleaning chemicals. Actually, you do right now. You, and I'm not saying you do a different one, but just it's okay to smell a cleaning chemical at the moment. It's but, what, what, I just want to make sure everyone heard what you said there. Look, I think this is gold because um, if you're open, you want to be seen you be seen to be cleaning. So you're, yeah. you're doing stuff and you be seen. Next thing is, if you're doing deep cleans in the evening and doing gurneys and so forth, you tell everybody, maybe take photos of you doing it. So it's not just hearsay. And the last one there was, make sure that you're using things that smell pleasant, but they go, whoa, they're cleaning again. So if they don't see you, they can smell you. So yeah. it's actually using the, the strategy that I heard the other day called the, the safety strategy. Prove that you are safe and people will return. Yep. So I think that's great. Richard. And you need to tell people you're going above and beyond. I mean, we did it as an industry in New Zealand. We, we wrote a framework that we actually launched before the government put out their own framework. So we actually front-footed them, which is a, I'll say a risky strategy in that, what if we got it wrong? But we were very clear we were going to be above and beyond anything they released. But why did we do what we did? Well, we've actually looked at the unique risks of our industry. And here's the thing. Anyone that tries to say otherwise, um, I'll challenge them on this. We have some significant increased risks due to the nature of our product. And the two things are uh, length of stay. So normally, even in a restaurant, you aren't around the same people, other than the people at your table, for an extended period. You, because, yes, but they, they're in your bubble, in your, in your group. But the people who are walking past, they walk past for 20 seconds or, or maybe a couple of minutes. And your server comes over and then brings you the food. It's a very short stay. Group exercise is 60 minutes. I stand next to the same person for 60 minutes. That is unusual. <laughs> you don't do that in retail stores. You don't do that um, in, in restaurants, except the people at your table. But again, the other people that you know and you can contact trace. Um, and so it's unusual. And the other thing which we all know about exercise is respiration rate. You, you breathe and you breathe more. If you look at all the science, the, the viral risk load massively increases from respiration. You know, this is where most of the, the viral spread comes from. If most of the stats now says about, it's about 90% of that and 10% is on surfaces. Of course, it changes and varies, but it's mainly respiration. If I'm breathing heavily and you're breathing heavily and we're facing each other, well, that's called me, an instructor, you are a participant there is a viral risk there. So we actually go above and beyond in terms of distancing because distancing is your principal tool to, to reduce that. Of course, you can go other things. You can wash things. You can possibly wear masks. So there's other things you can do. But we went above and beyond. And that was an, as, as an industry. But as a club, I would be telling them what you're doing that no one else is doing. And I, I don't mean in a comparison way. Just we care so much that you'll notice there's free hand gel everywhere. Not everyone gets free hand gel. Some of them will have it at reception. But no, no, we've just done it everywhere. Or we only use wipes. Why? Because we think that disposable things are better. I'm not suggesting you intentionally criticize anyone else, but you make it clear. We care so much that we've gone a bit above and beyond. You know, you might notice that we're spraying things more often. Actually, all of our team members, every door handle, every tap in the building, every one, one hour is actually being sprayed with a, a chemical. Whatever it is, but tell your story. The message here, I'm hearing it loud and clear, is make sure that you remind everybody what you're doing. And yeah. have a, we have a, a above and beyond strategy. And also it could be a USP for your sales. It could be a terrific thing for a safe gym. And this is what we go above and beyond in your marketing. So remember, people buy the feeling, not the actual product, but they yeah. want a safe product. And I think I'm hearing it loud and clear. It has to be safe. 
be seen, keep reminding, make sure they can smell. And I would suggest that they use it in there in your sales. Now to yeah. wrap up our time together, cause uh, you know, we could, uh, could your browser, on this. Good. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, to help the clubs and studios get, get back into place, what are the uh, 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 tools that are out there uh, that, um, uh, that are available uh, to be able to be used? Yeah, so first of all, um, Exercise New Zealand produced a series of videos around this whole issue. So scenario planning, looking at the levers you can pull, you know, what kind of staff training you might need to implement, how do you communicate things like cleaning to members, particularly when you're closed, tell oh, them, you know, say, you know, do the videos of people. All of this, we've actually broken the videos into five, five, um, five different videos, including you how to use a spreadsheet. Uh, and that's all completely free. So, um, so let me just say, how long do the videos go for, uh, Richard? They vary. I think the longest might be about 30 minutes. We try to keep them, you know, let, let's take a topic, how to do scenario planning. That's top video one. Then number two is now you've got your scenarios. How do I work out a plan to establish it? And then video three is well, what do I do about um, actually, you know, communicating this to people, my staff, our members, all that stuff. I mean, so the, each, each section is broken down. The, the longest one I think might be 40 minutes, but some of them are 15 to 20. So minutes. there's, there's five videos and, and yeah. uh, you're saying that you can give us a, uh, maybe share a link that uh, uh, we can uh, give those. Yeah, so I'll, I'll send you the link. Um, yeah, uh, and and um, so the idea is that everything's in one place, and you can watch these videos one after the other to get your head around how do I do the scenario planning? What's the things I need to consider? Uh, how do I communicate it to others? All those kind of things. So those and are videos and so forth. But you know what that that tool that you had? I mean, um, that, look. To go to an accountant to get that, I mean, I know that would cost significant. I've done lots of COG stuff. That uh, That's a really uh, a lot of work behind the scene. There will be a significant amount of, uh, how can we say, formulas there. I mean, yeah. anyone would be spending three, $4,000, and sometimes it wouldn't be based on a certain business. But um, uh, is, can people get hold of that at all? Yes, so the, the, uh, this is, um, if the members of Exercise New Zealand is completely free, we realise that if people are outside of New Zealand, then that may, that's not really an option. And while you could join us, we wouldn't be advocating for someone outside New Zealand to join us simply because a lot of the stuff that we do will be very New Zealand centric. So we'll give yeah, you well, a- the, Yeah, the governments within New Zealand are, are different from other business, but exactly. hang on, let's, let's get it yeah. right. So you're saying that uh, a member of Exercise New, New, New Zealand, Zealand this is free. Yeah, that's what you said, they're free, but they'll also get that spreadsheet. Now, what's it cost to actually join Exercise New Zealand from a New Zealand club? Because we work with lots of clubs in New sure. Zealand. So if you're, uh, it ranges depending on how big they are. So a smaller studio, we can give a discount to. So it's anywhere sort of 20 to $25 a month if you're a small studio, up to sort of 40 to $50 a month if you're a larger gym. Oh, uh, terrific. And, yeah, so it's not expensive. And we say monthly because we offer monthly payments. We certainly right now, I'd say cash flow is important. Don't give us a check for five hundred dollars or, or three hundred dollars. Go on a monthly payment, and it's well, a lot easier for you. If they just got the spreadsheet alone, yeah, totally, yeah. the videos to do this, and that would be worth a few hundred, four hundred bucks. I mean, as I said, if you went to an account, it would cost a bomb. So, all right, so that's great. Well, everyone should be supporting the governance, the governing body, or the the people that are out there spruiking for them. So yeah, that's yeah. Uh, between twenty to fifty bucks uh, yeah. a, a month, and and Correct. they get that plus all the other things that you do. Yeah, yeah. By the way, just a, by the way, I, I know you did a, a a virtual webinar and all a, a conference and so forth. Uh, members also get a a, 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 a rates and so forth for that too, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. So, we, you know, we have events and members get like 50% discount, all those kind of things. So there's, okay. there's lots of yeah. other stuff and benefits. But I think for people outside New Zealand, I fully get that's not their core product. A lot of the stuff we give would be too New Zealand centric. So what, what we've decided to do just for, for your customers, Steve, is to say we'll sell them just the template if they want it. We don't normally do that, but we understand if we're going to have a conversation and show them a cool tool and say, sorry, you can't have it, it's a wee bit mean. So oh, we want to say, well, how, how can we, how we get a hot little hands on it? <laughs> Sorry, it's so good you can't have it. It's like, no, we're happy to sell it as a as a separate thing, and we don't normally do that. So this is for people outside New Zealand, um, and it basically two hundred ninety five dollars New Zealand. So for Aussies, it's probably about two eighty, I think. Uh, you know, anyone in America, it's probably two hundred dollars, something like that. Um, okay. And what, I'll, you know, I'll send you a, I'll send you a link. A link. A link, send you a link. We yeah. can actually put people there. So a link to the video. Yeah. Um, Maybe a link to maybe join Exercise New Zealand from our New Zealand. New Zealanders, um, yeah, good idea. Yep. And, uh, and also the uh, uh, opportunity to maybe uh, or buy the scenarios. I believe that's a must get. So uh, I'd love to be able to share that with all of our, our members and our, and our clients. 